I know I have demonstrated royal icing swirl decoration for macarons before, but I really wanted to make a Christmas or holiday edition. I love using the Master Elite powdered colors here with just a tiny bit of royal icing and water to end up with some really, really vibrant colors to create just incredible designs as you can see here i'm just using one red colorant for my red i wanted it to be pretty true to that color if you want to tone this down a really easy way is to use a little bit of whatever color you're using in this instance green so you could add a pinch of that if you just want to mute it a little bit you could add a little bit of brown if you want to create more of a a crimsony color you can add some burgundy or something like that in there so definitely play around with your colors this is just what i had in my kitchen and also what i liked for my christmas themed macarons for the green i am mixing two different colors i really like to temper out the really bright vivid color in the emerald green um, or leaf green anytime i'm using that by also adding in a touch of the i think it's soldier green um, and that's just because because I think one is a little bit too bright and the other one is a little bit too dark <laughs> and somehow they, they come together in this really really holiday looking green in my mind i really really like the combination of these two for christmas vibes um just in case you are a little bit less familiar with uh working in the kitchen if you are working just by yourself and having a hard time maneuvering any of your batters or royal icing into a piping bag you can just use the help of a glass like this or a pitcher for larger amounts of things and then I always like to keep a bench scraper or a bowl scraper on hand. I do have some of those linked in my Amazon storefront below if you want to check that out. This really helps to make sure everything is pushed down so you are not wasting ingredients. And then with a small amount of royal icing like this, I just like to tie off the top though you can use some kind of bag clip or um, a rubber band or something as well just to make sure that your precious ingredients ingredients are not sliding while you are trying to decorate or that you're not wasting things. The only other thing I have here is some white royal icing with a pretty thin consistency. Um, the other, the red and the green royal icing are kind of just a similar thickness as well. And then I have a shallow dish and some toothpicks you could use a scribe or any tool you want this is just for creating the design then obviously i also have some uh macaron shells first i poured some of that white though of course you can use whatever base color you want um i'm using the piping bag to create lines through this in the red and the green then i'm going to go through with the toothpicks to create um, some swirl patterns so i'm going one direction and then kind of backtracking zigzagging back and forth and then i'm going to go the opposite way so first um, i'm going like horizontally and then i'm going vertically that kind of vibe the reason i have white as my base here is because when you push the macarons down into this royal icing mixture you will keep adding on more and more and more of the color and so slowly what you have in your dish will turn into kind of a light green or light pink or something like that so you do end up with more color so i think it's really nice even if you don't want to use white to use something quite light so that the other colors you're using really stand out and as more color is collected um, it's not really fighting with your overlaid color so as you can see here i'm just creating this royal icing swirl by then pressing one of my macaron shells from each pair directly down really pressing making sure that i've got the royal icing 
completely out to the sides and then I'm shaking it just a little bit to smooth out the top to get rid of whatever little uh, bit of excess there is left when I pull it up. This is why the consistency is a little bit important when you're using this technique because if the royal icing is too stiff um, when you turn your macaron shell upside down even if you're shaking it a little bit it might be hard to smooth out that peak without getting in there with a toothpick or a scribe um, and if it's too loose and runny it's just going to pour off the sides of your macaron shell so you want it to be you know, just the, the perfect Goldilocks consistency between those two things. As you can see here, now that I've picked up a lot of that top uh, colorant, I'm going to go in with more colors. What I did at this point, so I started off with red and green on top of the white. Now I went in with just extra green, but as you can see there, I still do have bits of red and pink underneath that. So now I'm ending up with some shells that are skewed more towards green. Um, and then later I also went in with just more red so I could create this huge uh, difference and range in my swirled macaron shells um, even just with the same exact ingredients. There are some there are some that are a lot more candy cane kind of red, pink, white with just hints of green there are some that are a lot more uh, kind of Christmas tree like mostly green a little bit of white a little bit of red and then there are some that are a really nice equal mix of everything these you want to make sure that these shells dry completely before you fill them otherwise if you put not hardened royal icing into the refrigerator when you're maturing these macarons that can get a little bit weird so make sure to leave these macaron shells just on your counter room temperature let them really fully completely harden before you're filling them with whatever it is you're filling them with and then from that point on these will mature and be completely like any other macarons royal icing decoration or no i paired this with my candy cane ganache you can check that out in one of my previous videos if you haven't seen it already and honestly between the filling and then the royal icing decor i think these are just the perfect holiday macarons the swirled royal icing is actually really easy and so fun to do it totally just feels like you're playing and not actually baking anything and i think that they look so so lovely i think this would be really great um, for any kind of holiday party or holiday gift or holiday macaron box especially as you can see here just by doing that little bit of variation using two colors and then kind of adding more of one or adding more of the other to create a bunch of different patterns and colors even just within this one set that all really nicely complement each other thank you so so much for watching this tutorial if you give this technique a try or were inspired by this or any of my other videos make sure to let me know tag me on instagram at maddie Brame. i would love to see your work and your results as well until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye!